we are running out of water so the um, we need to find uh, water efficient or drought tolerant corn hybrids plus management uh, technologies to reduce the amount of water required to produce corn. We are developing new corn germplasm by using exotic materials, especially from a tropical corn. We are also evaluating commercial hybrids, transgenic corn technologies. And we select corn for a lot of traits. There is, we cannot select corn for drought tolerance or water efficient corn just based on single trait. We have to select a large number of traits. So that's very complicated. So the water use efficient corn or drought tolerant corn is not going to be like herbicide tolerant corn or BT. So it has to be uh, incremental increase. So once you stress the corn, you will see uh, leaf rolling, and reduced plant height, uh, stay green traits, and that's what you usually see. But the most important for breeders is what's going to happen <coughs> inside the husk, the ears. That take a lot of labor. We got to hand harvest those ears and rate for seed setting, grain quality kind of things. But after all, end of the day, what you really care about is still yield, yield, yield. We're studying what is the best combination to choose hybrids and plant population and irrigation scheduling. So we have uh, 10 hybrids grow under 100% ET, 75% ET, 65% ET, and 50% ET in three plant populations, medium, high, and low. And also, we have uh, looking at the grain, both grain and silage yield. So I'll uh, just give you a very brief uh, data. In 2008, under 100% ET, the average yield for high population is 266 bushels, medium is 255, and the low is 234. Under 75% ET, in the high population stand, yield 268, two bushels higher than 100% ET. Medium is 263, a little bit higher than the uh, 200. 100% uh, ET and low population 255. So what does tell tell you that this data show that we may be overwatering in this location? You can see this is a very thin, ugly plant. <laughs> this is a little bit better, <laughs> and this is a little bit still uh, poor. Now, what farmers grow is F1 hybrid seeds. So plant breed corn breeding involve two major steps. One is to develop parental imber lines. So these are imber lines. And then we cross these imber lines and make a hybrid. So it takes eight generations to develop an imber line. So if you have a two season per year, it will take four years to develop an imber line. You can develop a nice looking imber lines, but does not mean they will make good babies. <laughs> so the second one is cross these imber lines and then find a good baby. That's F1 hybrid. That takes another three or four years. To, so that takes about uh, seven to eight years to develop a good hybrid. You certainly should see what we uh, indicated out on the turn row that the difference between the 75 and the 65 is a breakover point for many of these hybrids and you should be able to determine that the, the ear link sitting on that stalk is a little bit shorter and certainly the circumference of diameter is so the kernel feels not as good so the days are coming when you pick a target water level and a variety to match that production level is, is, is here and the combinations that are available are going to ever become increasingly confused.